Hello and welcome to another episode of Talking Politics uh, on the Hindus YouTube channel with me, Histhula Hebbar. As always, we will be trying to make sense of some of the headlines that have been made in domestic politics. Now, this is a week which saw tickets uh, being declared for uh, candidate lists being declared by various political parties in the fray for assembly polls in the five states of Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Telangana and Mizoram and a lot of rebellion and uh, fights and mounting of big campaign challenges etc. But uh, we will, uh, I mean that is a something that is an ongoing affair and we will be going back to the state of that uh, combat in the following weeks. But this week we will be concentrating on uh, Trinamool Congress MP Mohua Moitra's travails with regard to an ethics committee inquiry uh, into allegations made against her by BJP MP Nishikam Dube on uh, a, a, a cash for um, a question scan, uh, scam and uh, that inquiry is currently underway so we are not going to kind of uh, comment on the merits of the case etc that is for the ethics committee to decide uh, but we will be looking at just what this issue was all about and where it could go um, so uh, here goes So hello again and let's plunge directly into what this issue was all about. Now the date was October 15th and BJP MP Nishikang Dube wrote to Lok Sabha Speaker Om Birla demanding that Trinamool Congress MP Mohua Moitra be subject to an inquiry committee of parliamentarians to probe uh, allegations made by him that she had been in receipt of illegal gratification from business queen Darshan Hiranandani in exchange for asking questions in parliament aimed at targeting certain businesses, corporate houses. Um, Mr. Hiranandani himself is a well-known industrialist and uh, uh, Mr. Dubey's accusation was that he was giving some financial consideration in exchange for which questions were asked by uh, the TMC MP in parliament. Uh, Parliamentary questions are extremely considered uh, a matter of huge privilege for the MPs. Uh, government is answerable to these MPs on the questions that are asked. And therefore, that is one surefire way of getting authentic information from the government on various issues that concern parliamentarians. And so therefore, to suggest that some MP has been asking questions because somebody has paid them to do so was a very, very grave allegation. Now, he also added that Ms. Moitra's Former close friend, Supreme Court lawyer Jay Anant Dehadrai had given him irrefutable evidence uh, for the of the arrangement with Darshan Hiranandani, and uh, uh, Mr. Dehadrai had also written a, a complaint letter to the CBI. No, comp, no uh, case has been filed as yet. I my, I will have to add here, and uh, so therefore, with all of these things, Mr. Dubey said that you know. Uh, Speaker Birla should initiate at least some inquiry with regard to these allegations. Now, Speaker Om Birla referred the complaint to the Ethics Committee of the Lok Sabha for an inquiry. Uh, Bhava Moitra, never a shrinking violet, extremely articulate and fiery, responded to these allegations by filing a defamation suit in the Delhi High Court against Mr. Dubey and several news outlets, not including the Hindu, I might add here and said that uh, Mr. Dehadrai was a, her close friend with whom she had had a falling out and that this entire can of, uh, this entire uh, set of allegations was basically uh, a, a, a jilted uh, ex's anger at her and there was a, she also accused him of criminal trespass and theft among other things and she also said that the allegations that he had made to uh, Nishikan Dubey, Mr. Dehadrai's allegations, which Mr. Nishikan Dubey then formally verbalized uh, to Speaker Birla, were part of uh, Mr. Dehadrai's vendetta against her. And uh, uh, there was basically also a question of uh, it was an acrimonious party made all the more acrimonious by the fact that they had adopted a dog together called Henry, who's a Lord Rottweiler. And after separation, both of them 
uh, have been fighting for joint custody uh, for a, uh, sorry not a joint custody but a custody battle over Henry so all of this uh, she said was the reason why Mr. Dehan Rai suddenly discovered that you know these th allegations need to be made to put her in a tight spot uh, with regard to her career so that she gives in and gives way and gives away the door the custody of which was being formally very very uh, fiercely fought over and now at first the Hiranandani group which was mentioned time and again in this controversy they refuted these allegations and but later Darshan Hiranandani in an affidavit which he notarized etc and sent to the ethics committee he said that uh, yes um, he accepted all these allegations and said that uh, Mova Moitra had provided him with her parliamentary login and password so that he could post uh, direct uh, questions directly on her behalf when required and that he had provided her some gifts etc in the course of the last few years and uh, all of these things so Miss Moitra again you know combated this very strongly and she said that uh, she released a press statement and she said that the contents of the letter were a joke and that he had been under pressure that you know the, the first time that this affidavit had come out it had not been notarized or anything it was just on a white piece of paper she said a gun had been held to his head by high officials of the government of india because she had raised questions against certain corporate houses which were making the government of india uncomfortable uh, so all of these things were going on meanwhile the ethics committee 16 member committee of the Lok Sabha headed by BJP MP Vinod Solkar summoned uh, Nishikan Dubey and Jay Anand Dehadrai on October 26th to depose before it. Uh, uh, again, there was a lot of fight within the committee uh, over this issue. Uh, every parliamentary committee has the ruling party as a majority number of MPs because it has to reflect uh, uh, the house uh, in terms of its makeup. But here, uh, 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 BSP MP Kumar Danesh Ali raised a point of order and he said that uh, in a privileged case that he had filed against Ramesh Bithuri for using communal slurs against him on, in the floor of the house during the special session of parliament, uh, Bithuri, uh, who had been accused, was first asked to uh, uh, depose before that privileges committee, which he didn't do. Why in this committee, people making the accusation have been asked to depose he said this is uh, these are double standards etc but there was a voting that was held uh, to decide who would be called first and the treasury that is the bjp mps carried the day and the mps carried the day and therefore nishikan dube and jayanand dehadrai uh, made these accusations against moa moitra went and deposed before uh, this committee uh, miss moitra herself has been asked to appear before the committee on uh, October 31st and uh, that will be next week and uh, we really don't know how this uh, case will then pan out uh, and uh, MHA and the IT ministry have also been asked for their help to trace uh, uh, the, the, the source of this posting of these questions whether the login and password uh, of Moma Moitra's NIC account that is the official parliamentary account used by everybody in the government system uh, was in fact handed over to Darshan Hiranandani whether he logged in on it in Dubai as he claims while Ms. Moitra was not in Dubai. All of those things need to be borne out so all of these uh, this information has been sought out uh, uh, by the Ethics Committee of Parliament. Now the whole issue has focused attention on how MPs govern themselves uh, because they are elected members of parliament they have a lot of privileges they have a lot of protections under the law they can also ask a lot of questions to the government government is subject to answering the questions asked by MPs in parliament and therefore uh, the corollary of it is also that MPs should also govern themselves act within certain ethics and privileges now the ethics committee where this entire case has now gone is a panel and it is uh, different for each house Rat Sabha has one Lok Sabha has one and it was first formed as an ad hoc committee in 2000 so this is not a very very old sort of committee it's a very new committee it was formed as an ad hoc committee not as a permanent like a standing committee or anything and then it was made a permanent committee of the house 
or the permanent part of a house only in 2015. Now, uh, a previous cash for query scan scandal that happened in 2005, where 11 MPs were uh, removed from their membership of uh, Parliament, uh, that was subject to a special committee being formed just to go into that particular uh, uh, event and incident and uh, the, uh, so uh, that didn't go in front of this ethics committee so this is a kind of a first in a way now uh, ethics committees generally go into issues with regard to acts of impropriety involving members of parliament and it's again different from the privileges committee which goes into issues related to the authority and the dignity of the parliament for example uh, journalists who are reporting on parliament they can be hauled before a privileges committee if you are if you have uh, reported on the proceedings, uh, reported expunged parts of the proceedings, that can be a privilege issue. If you have uh, imputed a certain motive to the member of parliament, which he or she does not have while raising a particular question or saying a particular thing in parliament, again, you can be hauled in front of the privileges committee. Other people can be hauled in front of the privileges committee, including members of parliament. So it is different from the ethics committee. Ethics is Ethics committee is largely uh restricted to acts of impri impropriety by members of parliament themselves now what is the faith forward what will happen next in when all of this testimony is heard by the ethics committee now the committee will then formulate a report and present it to the speaker of the lok sabha uh who is to then ask uh the house if it has to be taken up for consideration a resolution can be passed a half hour discussion can also be scheduled and uh, uh, if whatever the uh, uh, report uh, recommends, it is up to the House whether they accept it or not. Now, uh, it is up to the Speaker and the House, if the, as I said, if the report is to be adopted in total. Now, much has been written about uh, in the media about the stormy petrol of Indian Parliament, that is Mohua Moitra, and that it was her fearless attacks on the BJP and unconventional for a woman politician lifestyle that attracted uh, such strong reaction. Others say that much of it all is just white noise and that the only thing that is of importance in this whole imbroglio, uh, whether it is a personal vendetta or not, uh, is whether her login and password were given over to somebody else to use. Um, um, in this entire scene. Uh, still others say that Nishikan Dubey and Mohua Moitra who have in the past clashed with each other openly especially when they were both members of the standing committee on IT and they've had really fierce fights which have all been reported in the past uh, including in the Hindu and they have basically they have just taken up the rivalry a notch above what was there before. Now whatever the situation the case has revealed that public life is a tough road to travel and the littlest of things can trip you up even while you're traveling on cruise speed. Now, what will happen uh, in future? The Ethics Committee has promised that it will uh, expedite the report as soon as it is able. And uh, there are people who are defending uh, Ms. Moitra as there are uh, BJP MPs who are keen that some action should be taken. Whatever it is, we will have to wait for the report of the Ethics Committee of Parliament. This was a little bit of a slice of uh, uh, the inner workings of Parliament that I wanted to give you through this episode. This is all I have for you this week. Uh, I'll see you next week.